What you are about to see is truly disturbing. This week on Addict Intervention, we deal with one man's struggle and his excess buying habits. He suffers from what we call Merchandise Acquisition Syndrome. It's a syndrome that attacks many punters watching sports throughout the world. You're watching your favorite sport team, and next thing you know, you're buying merchandise. You're buying jerseys. You're buying shorts. God damn it, you're even buying key rings. It is a crippling disease, and we are here to help on addiction intervention. We take you to Perth, Western Australia. It is the home of Andrew Johns Kelly. Andrew, or as he is affectionately known in his hometown, John Z, has a problem. He is addicted to the Newcastle Knights. The Newcastle Knights play in the NRL, the National Rugby League competition. With legends like Mike Meninga and Laurel Daly, there is no wonder that he was left as a young man absolutely besotted by these legends. It was then we found that it all began for Andrew Johns Kelly. We take you back to Perth, Western Australia, and we are going to look at Andrew's life and how he developed his addiction. We spoke to an old legend of the club who has known Andrew Johns Kelly since he was just a boy. Yeah, I remember uh, Andrew as a young fella coming to the club and yeah, mate, uh, it was really uh, kind of strange because he turned up as I'd say a young bloody five-year-old and he was decked out from head to toe in Newcastle Knights jerseys and, and league shorts and that. Uh, stopping probably short in his shoes, but uh, he always had these KT26s on. It was very interesting. Always a Knights jersey. And I remember thinking to myself, he had jerseys that I've never even seen before. Ha <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but uh, as we learned later on into the future that uh, yeah, he had a bit of an addiction and uh, it's kind of sad, really. It was time to intervene. It was now that we got Andrew to come in unbeknowings and see some fellow members just like him who suffer from the same merchandise acquisition syndrome and there was no better place than to go to the Newcastle Knights Support Association, otherwise known as NKSA. The pain is real. What you see here are people who suffer deeply from their addiction not only to the Newcastle Knight, but also suffer from merchandise acquisition syndrome. It's crippling, leaving their bank accounts empty, leaving their souls devastated, and basically leaving them a shell of a human being. Alright, so this is, this is where it all started. This is, it all started right here. First jumper. A little bit smaller then. Oh, I still got it. Doesn't fit anymore. 1995, good year for the Knights that was. Yeah, the old Stockland sponsorship. Optus, Optus Vision with the uh, competition sponsors. Chief Harrigan, captain. 97. What a year that was, eh? Nin 1997. It was a very good year. 1997. Premiers. 50 metres away when, Al when Albert scored that try. Yeah. Mate, there's nothing better. That that's what being a league supporter is all about. Moments like that. Then we move into the 2000s. The synthetic age when it comes to jerseys. They retailed at the time for about a hundred, hundred something dollars, and I've got a mate on the inside. I think it was about sixty dollars each. 
Not bad. World Club Challenge, the very following year. Classic retro range. You've got to have a Henny Penny jumper. Uh, Andrew Johns famously played his very last game in the red jumper against against Canberra. Sian Matauti's jumper from just a few years ago. Spider Man. Love always loved Spider Man as a kid. See these? Matthew Johns' shorts. Stole them at the time. You know what else? He was wearing them. Cup of coffee? Hello. Yes. What have you got for me? How much? Twenty dollars. I'll meet you in the spot in fifteen minutes. Thank you. Bye. Look at this, dog collar, 20 bucks. Don't even have a dog. And he threw in an air freshener for free. He's a good man, he looks after me. He's regulars. When you've seen these kinds of levels of merchandise acquisition syndrome, you know that we are dealing with one of the worst cases we have ever seen on addiction intervention. A nervous and twitchy Johnsy. While the cameras were rolling, this happened. Hi, I'm Samir. Hi, Hi Samir. Hi, Samir. Um, and I've got a serious problem. I follow the Knights as well. Have done for as long as I can remember. Uh, growing up in Newcastle, it was uh, really thrust upon you to support the local team. But it's, it's just kept getting worse. I've uh, kept buying jerseys. I've tried to get my kids into following the team as well. And it's, it's been tough. Any, any sale that I see, it's, I've just got to get something. And I've just got to try my hardest to resist the urge, you know? It's really, really brother. It's really hard. Never mind, mate. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bill Sneddon and I've got a serious problem. I'm addicted to the Newcastle Knights. Hi, I'm Janie Sneddon. I've inherited his problem. I'm also addicted to the Newcastle Knights. We live one day at a time, and we've been addicted for the last 40 years. We left our country of origin, Scotland, to come and follow this great team. Um, we sold our house, we've lost our jobs, We've had huge amounts of marriage issues over the years. Um, we tried to get our son into the Knights, you know, that was our dream, that one day he'd play for the Knights, but unfortunately... Let us down, don't we go? Let us down. It just never happened. It doesn't help either, by the way, that I'm in love with Andrew Jones. Um, that's been a serious issue in our marriage. But yeah. he's, he's forgiven me this. You know. Yeah, well, I've told him to stop coming around knocking on the door. It's just yeah. not acceptable. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're in trouble. Yeah, we are. Um, like you say, we've lost our house. Um, I couldn't go to work, you know. Um, just in case Andrew Johns came round. The other day there, you know, I jumped out of a plane from 15,000 feet just to stop watching the game. I just wanted to see if I could miss it, but I couldn't. I hit the ground. I ran into the nearest RSL and, yeah, got myself a two years new and I was back into it. And look at me, you know, um, 35 years of age, drinking two years new, watching all these games lose. Every time they lose a game, I lose a year. Look, all these wrinkles and scars. I'm suffering, mate. I'm suffering. I'm here, though. I'm here to help Andrew. Andrew, I'm being serious now. 
your behaviour is unsafe. We, we worry about you. The, the places you're getting this stuff, it's, it's dangerous. This used to be a $5,000 Rolex, and you've changed it to be a Newcastle Knights watch. Do you understand how dangerous that is? The people you're dealing with can hurt you. You can't be buying this stuff offline, on the black market. It's not safe, Andrew. We care about you too much to let you do this. Andrew, I really do think you've got a problem. I've seen you sneaking around late at night, meeting up with people, buying knockoff gear. No. I, no. I'm pretty sure you've even got some websites, unofficial websites that you get some gear from that I, you just, you've got a problem. You really do. I'm sorry. No. Not hearing this. Not hearing this. I'm so sorry, Andrew. You say you don't have a problem. We all know you have a problem. You came to my house and you stole my prized possession. You stole it. Did you not think I'd notice that you stole it? This is my Andrew Jones. I told you I was in love with him. And you stole it from my house. And if you don't think that's a problem, you really do need our help. I only borrowed it. There's a spot on my wall crying out for that. I'm sure it's mine. You really do have a problem, Andrew, if you think that you didn't steal this. You stole this from me. It's authenticated on the back. It's mine, not yours. You're really in denial. You really do need our help. But we're here for you. We will be here for you. Hi, my name is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi everybody. Uh, I'm a Newcastle Knights supporter and I have been ever since I was born. Um, I'm a pretty good rugby league player. <laughs> uh, I've tried out for the Knights a few times, but uh, and, and, and one day I still dream to play for the Knights. <laughs> I, I kind of figured that it's the best team to go for because, you know, they're pretty bad. So if I was going to make it in an arrow team, the Knights are probably the ones that I could make it into the team. <laughs> but all these years I've been trying, I just keep on turning up week in, week out, and I just don't know what's going on. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, Hi Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Oh, looks like I'm in the wrong meeting. Push. You're dealing in the car parks, behind, behind the kids' school playgrounds. You don't want to expose children to this, do you? The kids need to learn. They need to know there's, there's, there's other options out there. We can't help you until you start moving forward and actually accepting that you have a problem. That's all we're here to do. You've got a problem. We need you to understand that. But, I've got no. a Hey. Oh. Oh, <laughs> You're not listening. This is the How much did you pay for that? $1,500 for a jersey? It's the Perth Nines, mate. Andrew, where did you get the money for the jumper? It's my money. It's your money? It's You've money. not been taking money from them old ladies and no. gentlemen at the home, have you? Have you? They lent it to me. It's mine. Oh, they lent it to you. You can beat this. You can do this. You can do this, mate. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. With a team of support around him, there was every chance that Andrew could make a miracle recovery from the depravity and the deprivation he suffers from with this merchandise acquisition syndrome, the addiction he has and his friends have from the Newcastle Knights. No, get your hands off my, get your hands off my picture. Save it, Billy, save it, save it. It's been about three months now. Uh, I had to part with all my, my night's gear, all my jerseys, my shorts, um, footballs, the dog collar. I had to get rid of the dog collar. I love that dog collar. Still haven't got a dog, but I love that dog collar. <sighs> Mate, that's the hardest bit. You know, smokers always feel like lighting up again when they walk past 
other smokers when they've given up. It's like that. It's like you just want to get back into it. I've, I've got the dealer's phone number still on my phone. The the night shop is only a, a couple of clicks away on, on the on the mouse. Mate, it's hard. It's been hard. It's been thirty something years and. I don't mind it. It's a little lifeless, but it's calming. It's agitation levels are down. There's no great, no great emotional highs. There's certainly no emotional lows. Had plenty of those with red and blue around. Um, it's all right. I feel like this is the way life is meant to be. Hey, dog collar, 20 bucks, still don't have a dog. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, next week on Addiction Interventions, we look at Bronco's supporter, Adam Smith.